Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, reading and I'm going to use my Star Dragons cards to start out. If you're interested in any of the cards I'm using, the links are down below. All right, so we're going to look at what you may be struggling with. We have independence, carving your own path. Definitely that's something to struggle with. What do you need to look at? We have trust, love, and friendship. And what's coming in for you? We have destruction, releasing your anger. Definitely a lot of frustration can build up if you feel like you don't, you're not carving your own path. If you feel like you are not doing what is beneficial for you, that you always feel like you're giving to other people, like you're always focusing on other people and you keep thinking, well, okay, after I do this next thing, then I can focus on me. You know, then it'll be my turn. And sometimes that's, that can definitely build up because you get frustrated. Like you always feel like you're getting the short end of the stick. All right, so let's get some tarot. These are my Gilded Tarot Royale. All right. Eight of Cups. The Devil and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like it's definitely carving your own path like is there something that you need to walk away from um and then coming into your own power and looking at change if you were to carve your own path what would that look like if you didn't have any of those roadblocks in your way whether they're people or situations like whatever those things are if you didn't have any of those what does your path look like um what is it that you want to work towards and when you figure that when you see that when you feel that when you put yourself in that energy how does that make you feel And now it's like, okay, now I know where I want to go and I, what I want to do. What is it? How do I get there? What is it that I need to make happen? What are the changes that I need to make? What are the decisions that I need to make? What are the things that I need to look at? What is it that I need to focus on? And what is it that I need to walk away from? It's almost like sometimes when you have a task that is so big and that is so you know, overwhelming, it's almost like you don't want to do anything. It's just like, uh, it's just too much to do. I'll just stay in this energy. But I feel like you're not really carving your own path and you're not looking out for yourself, that you're just settling for a situation. And I kind of feel like you're at the point where, okay, yeah, now I'm, now I'm ready. I'm ready to put the work in. You have to be ready to put the work in. You have to be ready to focus on that. You have to be able, you have to be ready to really be dedicated. And, and I would say definitely with me is that I, I kind of been dabbling in the, you know, reading tarot for probably five years, but I never really got focused into it until like the last year. And really within the last six months, probably really within the, within the last couple months, did I actually say, okay, like I was, it's about focusing on your goals. And so one of the tools that I like to do is I'll just be on YouTube as I'm always researching, I'm always listening to other videos, I'm always listening to other people, you know, motivational people, um, people who have started their own businesses and what it is that they do and all this information. And, and it can be overwhelming. But um, one of my favorites is Alex Hormozzi. I think that's how you say his name. And he was just saying, like, you have to be in the season of no. And that's kind of where I had gotten to where it's like, okay, you have to say no to everything else. Because if you have, you're trying to carve your own path and you're trying to create something and you're trying to do something. When you have all of these other interruptions and you keep saying yes to all of these other things you know, going out to lunch or talking with friends or go helping somebody else or go doing this for that. And 
you're saying no to carving your own path and you're saying yes to all of these other things. So you're not getting what you want done. And that's kind of how I was, is that I kind of had to get to the point where it was like, okay, I have to say no to all of these other things and I just have to focus on my path and I have to say yes to that. But you have to be in that frame of mind where you're, you're willing to say no to a lot of other things. And it's even like I'm not going out to the barn as much as I used to, which kind of makes me sad because I love going out there. But it's like I have to say yes to being dedicated to working on this YouTube channel. But it's all about, and I feel like that's what this reading is, is in order to carve your own path, you know, what are those things that you need to focus on? Because once you start getting into that energy and you start seeing, okay, wow, you know, I, I've got my schedule written down. I know what I need to do. I know what I can check off. I'm getting stuff done. I'm, I'm seeing things change. I'm learning new things. And like, I feel like I'm finally on my path. And when you're in that energy, you, you get excited. And I feel like it's, what do you need to look at is that trust but I feel like it's trusting yourself, right? Trusting yourself that you're doing the right thing for you. And trusting yourself that it's time for you to blossom. It's time for you to come out. It's time for you to have fun, but feel fun in a way that you've, you're like, wow, I'm carving my own path. I'm finally doing my own thing. And that success within yourself and those rewards that you get from it. Like, yes, once you start getting on your path and things start happening and you get into that routine then you can say yes to these other things when you have time but it's like if you just like me if I didn't dedicate it to it then it was just sort of a part-time here and there time but thing but then it was becoming almost anxiety for me because it's like I wasn't getting as much done as I wanted to and I just had to really sit down and focus so I feel like that's you too, is that you're trying to carve your own path, but you're still having that frustration. So what are those things that you need? What does that path look like? And what are those things that you need to say no to? And what are those things that you need to say yes to? Look at all this fire here and this future energy. <laughs> Releasing your anger, like in letting that go. But then it's still around here with the volcano and that fire. But it's also moving forward. And making sure that you don't carry any of the frustration with you that you know that you're not that you're moving forward in the best possible way that you can and you start seeing things start to form and you start to see things coming together we have the lovers and then we have the death card which is Gemini and then we have Scorpio but I feel like it's you releasing the old ways of doing things and you and then you see yeah like I'm finally doing it like it's once you start saying no to other things and you really start focusing on what it is you want to, you want to do and you know your path, it's almost like it becomes easier. But it's that point to where until you can figure out what it is that you want to do, sometimes it can become overwhelming. And you're like, I have all of these things that I want to do. Like with me, I had all of these different ideas that I wanted to do with, um, you know, tarot readings or I was trying to do all these different YouTube channels and I'm trying to do all of these different things and I can't get anything done and I was spreading myself too thin and it's like okay I got to figure out what is it that I want to focus on what is my path that I want to carve and focus on those things and saying no to all of these other ideas that I have because yeah when you watch the YouTube videos everybody has all these you know really easy great quick ways to you know do this or do that and make money and you're like oh okay I can do that I can do that and it's just like then you spread yourself too thin but you have to know okay what can I truly focus on what can I really get done what do I really like to do and then carving that path for yourself and saying no to yeah those may be tempting ideas but my real path is is this is what I have to focus on all right so let's grab we have the wisdom of the oracle oh, I grab it those so let's see what we have going on for this 
we have higher power. So I feel like it's those signs and those energies that are pushing you in the, this direction. And then we have flexible. Being flexible, right? Being flexible, not being too rigid. Because if you're flexible, then you're open to more opportunities or you're open to more ideas or you see things differently or you know, you have more opportunities that come in when you're flexible. But if you're only sticking to one thing, then I almost feel like you might be missing out on opportunities. Like being flexible in this situation. And then let's get an energy oracle. We have first chakra and chakra, and that's that's your um, base chakra, and that's like do it, do something, even if it's not on your right path. I feel like that at least if you're doing something, at least if you're moving, if you're making changes, if you're making choices, if you're cutting things out, if you're adding things in, if you're researching, if you're doing something like you're you're at least moving you know but when you just sit and you don't do anything then nothing's going to change and like I've said before that if you want change you have to be change and that yeah sometimes it's really hard to pick yourself up and to get motivated and get moving and get going and it's hard to do that but at least you're doing something I mean there are days when I just don't want to do anything either but I'm like no like if you're going to be home and you're taking time away from being at the barn, then you're going to get something done. Even if it's some days I'm like, oh, I'm going to make all these videos and then I don't. But I'm like, okay, well, if I don't feel like making videos, then I'm going to clean the house. I'm going to do the laundry. I'm going to change the sheets. I'm going to, you know, give the girls a bath or I'm going to do something. So at least I'm still productive and I'm moving. So it's like at least do something. And then we have the fifth chakra which is the throat chakra, which is speaking up, being heard, voicing your opinion. You know, what is it that you have to say? Um, communicating, connection, um, whatever that is, is like releasing it. Again, destruction, releasing your anger, letting things out, getting things off your chest, clear, clearing your slate so that you can have that to work with so that moving forward, you're not carrying any negativity forward. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that helped. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.